Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulacra. In the last one, we, we had a, a bit of a meltdown because the phone actually got uh, remotely reset as a security feature. So um, we now have a factory new phone, essentially. So let's just put our name in, because we all know that in this situation, the only name that we should use is Chuck Norris. Hello Chuck Norris, for a more personalised user experience please answer the following questions to help us better serve your needs. Don't worry, it only take a moment. Or do you? How's Chuck Norris? 65? Where's your home country or region? Uck. Are you a new user or an experienced user? I'm new, I'd say I'm new. Uh, just auto configure, thank you. Do you like to back up your phone often or occasionally? Occasionally. Late. Definitely a late sleeper. What's your favourite kind of smell? Anything I think of, part of an animal, do you prefer to eat? Heart ribs. Saddest moment in your life. When Bambi's mum dies, you have to tell me more. Completely destroyed me. Are you paranoid that your lap phone or laptop camera might be recording your every move? Well, after playing this game, yes, I am. If everyone can only tell the truth all the time, do you think this will make the world a better or a worse place? Wow, that's a good question. Better, I guess. You swear to hell nothing but the truth. Yes, so, yeah. We do not know the date of your death or the cause. Cause. Keep it a surprise, innit? Would you rather lose your mind or all your limbs? I guess... My mind? If you look behind you now, would you rather see a floating disembodied head or a headless body? Embodied head or a headless body. Floating head. <laughs> your hair smells nice. True, guess. I'm gonna shower this morning. Are you agree to surrender all your personal data to Iris OS? Fine. Thank you for valuing my privacy. Excellent. Oh gosh. Iris chat. Hi Chuck Norris. Your default messaging chats. Default message powered by Iris OS. Ah, a yearly complimentary service. Remember, we are always watching over you. They're always watching over me is slightly creepy. Open. Okay, Iris. Ulna? Ah. Oh, uh, hang on. Are you... Oh, come on, are oh, you safe? Who is this? Who's Olna? Why is this picture so creepy? Don't you recognise me? It's voice. Do not. You need to tune it out. Whose voice? The one. The many. It's voice. It's voice. Do not believe it. You must resist. You must resist its words. You don't make any sense, Ulna. This. Something is wrong. You are not Anna. This is not Anna. Anna! Soon she will be gone. Where is she? She's trapped in the phone or what? Oh, hang on. She will be gone. Soon. She'll be gone soon. How do I find her? Depends. On it. Find me and you will find her. So I've got to find Ulna. God, it's a good job I'm not on a bloody timer, isn't it? Flipping heck. I don't understand these puzzles at all. 
There we are. Guessing every time. I agree. Where's this? He's offline. Okay. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Oh, she got a new vlogger. Hang on, Greg. Shut up a minute. Rejection. From the Office of Admissions, the University of Cunningham, we have received your application to the School of Veterinary Science. We regret to inform you that you have not been shortlisted. She's blah, raging. Blah, blah. We thank you, blah, blah, blah. They didn't even say why. And they have to take three months for this? <laughs> Ugh, this is not helping! She's mad. All right, Greg, just chill out. Hello, F, tell me how it works. Data's gone, I'm gonna F and kill you. I cannot lose Anna. Uh, the data's still here, I think. Just get me, you've done your job, mate, flipping on the other end. I thought we were gonna lose our progress. Are you sure you didn't trigger it? I told you I didn't touch anything. It's too much weirdness for one day. Okay, here it is. I found something on her laptop. <laughs> Porn stash. Uh, more clues? Something like that. Some phone data backed up. One here. Another one at her workstation. Means there might be more stuff on the phone than what you see now. We work with what we have. I'm restoring from her laptop first. Great. Well, let's get started. Let's try and find her. We need to find Ulna. <laughs> Ashley sent a recording as well. We've also got um, a jabber that we need to read. Okay, starting. It should be done now. Did you get it? Uh, got a whole chunk of stuff. Good. Okay, great. Finally, some progress. There is something else. I was looking through her notebook. Oh yeah, were you? Yeah. Something you're not telling me. I'm not hiding anything. She met someone on Spark. Oh yes, yeah, Taylor. Didn't you mention that she matched with some people? Yeah, it's Taylor. So you've been talking to this guy all this time. How much have you told him? Nothing, really. I'll be lying. Did anyone ever taught you not to trust everything people say, especially from online, to basic common sense? You're a stranger too, Greg. I'm there from boyfriends. You better stop listening to his crap. Jilted ex-lover. Do as I say. Stay on the line. I'm going to make some calls. All right. Get to the bottom of this spark thing. Okay, fine. Cheers, Greg. Thanks for coming. Today's going to be an interesting day, I can feel it. Well, that was 11 seconds ago. I haven't seen you for a while. Where you been? Yeah, where well, you been? It's not like I used to miss Jim. I'm fine. It's quite a bit of work. She's replying as well. That's all. Going to take a short break. Don't worry about me. Did I, do I have to respond? Hello? Weird. Wouldn't let me exit it without... Well, she... So these are the only ones that she's posted. Okay, fine. Uh, right, so Jabba's done. Um, I think he was messaging us on Spark. Uh, hate Stranger Anything, and the person's on Jabba's still chilling at home. I guess she's all right. Uh, something's off. Are you mad that I responded to your text and called you a mug? Maybe you just want to be left alone. You shouldn't make jokes, Taylor. This is serious. She's missing, bro. Sorry, I'm... Nope. Is it gone? Oh. That's the one. Did Greg send this to you? I would have called her phone by now if she's okay. Somehow she makes a post exactly the same time as when Greg is checking in on her. That does sound a bit strange. I, did, I don't trust Greg. I said that in the first episode. I do not trust Greg. She makes a post exactly the same time as when Greg is checking in on her. It's true. He is right. It's 
So let's say, hypothetically, there's a possibility that Greg somehow did something bad to Anna and he's hiding it from you. Really? Just a random thought. What if Anna is deliberately trying to get away from Greg? Maybe he bombarded her with calls and messages to the point where she just went, screw it, and chucked the phone away. There's a lot of weird stuff happening though, mate. Go on. I'm intrigued. What kind of person Greg is? Uh, it's all of these things. He's a dick. The phone's data was almost deleted when he checked her laptop. And he mentioned, I, that does seem suspicious. This is troubling. Is he trying to obstruct, obstruct justice? I think he's hiding something big in the phone. Otherwise, why would he want to delete the phone's data? I don't know whether it was an accident or not. This is, this is a conundrum. Maybe it was an accident? I don't know. Said every guilty person ever. He mentioned that he got blocked from her apartment. If they are indeed lovebirds, at most he won't have the keys. But getting blocked is a strong word. Maybe she's keeping him away. He's kind of a dick. He is a dick, isn't he? You're kind of a dick too, though, Taylor, to be honest. That's a pretty sweet girl. Or she dates someone like him. Being verbally abusive is not far from being physical. What I'm saying is that there is more to Greg than he's leading on. Again, hypothetical. What else he tells you? You actually met Anna. If I met her, our job would be done. Okay, I won't be talking to you right now. Don't you believe me? I guess so. I would never hide anything from you. You could trust me. Scout's honor. Confront him and call him out. Has got a new batch of phone stuff to look at. Well, I'm going to look at this phone stuff like a backup. Yeah, yeah, like a backup, mate. He's hiding something. I can feel it. He did something to Anna. We need to know what it is. Get your facts straight and ask him about his actions and behaviour. Maybe he'll slip up and tell you something we don't know. Okay. All right, Taylor. Cheers, mate. All right, great. Uh, we check the mail first. Uh, study leave. Uh, hey, I got your application with the boss sitting up on it for now. It's regarding that thing you brought up. Text me in the office and I will explain. Best regards. Um, so she's following up on an application two weeks study leave. I have not heard from you since. Totally understand if it's not approved. I just need to be honest so I can prepare. Fair enough. Uh, rainforest. Um, consumer society myths and structures have been shipped. Singular objects of architecture has been shipped. Hmm. Oh, look, uh, another message. Uh, looks like you were receiving for the next week's company gift swap. One of the men's yes, meant to be a secret, but I don't know. I don't like giving gifts that ultimately you don't want. So I'm breaking tradition to get you something that you deserve. Tell me your body size and I'll pick the perfect dress for you. I to you make sure to give your best weights here for management so I can get it right the first time. Chief just to be perfect with a tighter and firmer bust to pair with those long legs. You would look fabulous. Merv, he's a perv. <laughs> Some might say it's distracting, but you have assets. You have to show it. God, Merv. Chats. Get to the bottom of this spark thing. Uh, right. Greg, I need to ask you something, mate. What? Let's talk about your attitude. Let's talk about your relationship with Anna. So you shrink now? No? Just, you know, having a hard time trusting you because you're a dick. What's there to talk about us? Why does she block you from her apartment? You had fight. Okay. That's a pretty vague answer, but... Let me check if she's at home. Sounds like a troubled relationship, mate. Uh, let's talk about Anna's place. Oh, Detective Marillo. Hello, I'm looking for Anna. I believe this is her number. Hello? Uh, I think this is the answering machine. I'll just leave a message first. This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We received a report from one of your neighbors. She mentioned that there was a suspicious looking guy entering and exiting your residence. Can you confirm if this is true? Call us if you wish to report a burglary. Thank you and good day. Call us if you wish to report a burglary. Did you activate the phone reset? 
He's calling me a liar. I don't know what to call you, Greg. If I wanted the phone erased, why the hell do I back the phone up for you? To gain my trust, Greg. The only reason trusting you right now is because you are holding the phone. I have no other choice. You are still useful to me. Cheers, Greg. This is not the time to be pointing fingers. He's trying to divert and deflect. No man busting my balls to find her and you're accusing me. What are you hiding? Hope you're done wasting my time. Never mind. Whatever, Greg. Turd. What's all these accusations? Make your point. Uh, it's just going to piss him off even further. All right, just nothing. Just asking. Okay, cool. Last case. That's what I'm going to tell you. Good. Stop making this about me. I make this about Anna. You have nothing on me. So if you want to start pointing fingers, make sure you have proof. Why are you so def Yeah, he's defensive, isn't he? Why are you so intrusive? Maybe Anna doesn't like you because you're an idiot and she wants you gone. I've already listened to that Ashley one. Okay, right. So we got something from Taylor again. Another random thought. What if Greg killed Anna? Well, maybe kill is a strong word, but what if he hurt her or something and tried to cover it up and all you hear from him is a lie? Huh. He's, de he's defensive, but I don't know whether he's hiding anything. I never met the guy, but I hate his guts already. So where are we, where are we at exposing his lies? Check his old messages. Because she has, she just sent something on um, Vlogger. Right, let's have a look. Oh my God, what if I didn't? What if I just went on living a lie? And he can do it, looking me dead in the eyes. God, and he hasn't stopped texting me since. What, what does that mean? Does he still love me? Then why would he, you know what? I hope it's positive. I hope she's pregnant. Yeah, he always wanted a family. Did he cheat on her and got another girl pregnant? Everyone's happy. I think he cheated on her and got another girl pregnant and that was Yolanda. Greg. Uh, right, check the old... Hang on. Okay, so he's obviously there's more context now to this. So he, she went through his phone. She found out he'd got another girl pregnant. Uh, he cheated on her as well, which is really the main thing. Um, can I text Ashley? Oh, this is the recovered messages. It's Kat's birthday. So when's your birthday again? Avoid the question in the month. Yeah, blah blah blah. Texting her. I need to get to the last messages. I need to go to the... Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, here we go. Juicy. Okay, so what's this? Uh, can we zoom in? Oh, we can. Okay. Faris uh, and Kane. Yes, because she was holding a Faris and Kane bag, wasn't she? Extension 0405, Yolanda. Who the hell? Is that's pretty easy, Yolanda. You look through my phone. Made a mistake. I can explain. Please do. Uh, she was the client I need for last month's target. We met a few times after work. She's persistent. I made a mistake. It was not me. Oh no! Is there a trick to these at all? Cheated on me and almost got her pregnant.
You're not allowed to fuck clients. She was the last close, well, I guess, close call I needed. Leave me the hell alone, Greg, okay? Wow, we've added scandal to the mix. Guys, that's it for this episode. If you've enjoyed this episode of Simulacra, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel to support, and leave a comment down below about what you think about this series so far. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.